and then we'll kind of figure out where we want to go from there. Boy, that's pretty common, isn't it, for a big guy? Talented guy to get all steps in with a couple of left hands. He has pretty good job, Cobber, because when you got the hands beat, you want to figure out can a guy take your hands. Oh, what a
I think his body shots are really bothering so much. Gambo has this very interesting left hook to the head, right to the body combination he throws. Roy, what can Solis do? There's sometimes where Gambo will drop that right hand and leave himself exposed. What can Solis do to baby? Bait, bait him into that where he can land a big shot. Well, it's kind of hard. He got to feint him a few times and not really go at him and make him sit still off the face. Once he makes the least sit still off the face, then he got him sitting in pose, that's what we call it. Once he freezes him, then he can rush the right hand out of the pipe and possibly there. But he's taking a gamble with that because Gamboa's hands are so fast like that, he usually can knock so he's off balance before so he can land that straight right hand. But he's just going to have to do like Max said earlier and gamble. Jumps in with the left and the right. You know, every time we do a really athletic fighter, I make comparisons to you, Roy, but that check hook he just hit Garcia with reminded me of like a Roy Jones <laughs> left hook that he got away with just because of superior athleticism. And that's where, that's how he gets away with, with a lot of things here because he has such superior athleticism and he has that right, most go, of the go, guys in this weight division along with power and speed. It does sound kind of familiar. Must have been a lot of fun to not have to do things by the book and still dominate. <laughs> <laughs> and Gamboa is that kind of fighter. Right hand after the left hook. <laughs> Gamboa just picking apart Jorge Solis. Pobrecito de Pacquiao.